Okay, uh, good morning everyone. I uh, hope all of you are okay today, <laughs> healthy. Uh, today we're going to start the review for the end semester test. Um, so uh, please pay attention because uh, the things that I'm going to give you for today is going to be on the end semester test that will be held next week on Monday. Okay, so again, guys, please pay attention. Please pay close attention. And I should have gave you uh, some papers. Uh, I have actually print and photocopy all, uh, uh, all of the questions, but I forgot to gave you yesterday. <laughs> uh, uh, so I will give you later on tomorrow, yeah, guys. But for today, just uh, just write down if you if you think you you, you have to write, uh, just write down the answer. You don't have to write down the, the questions because uh, the question I will give you the the papers for the question later on tomorrow. Yeah, because I we uh, I have already uh, print all of them. Okay, so let's just start the lesson. I'm going to uh, share my screen. Okay, um, here we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, yang lain tolong on cam ya. Terima kasih. On cam. Arigato. Saya bisa lihat semuanya loh, guys. Layar saya, saya bisa lihat ada berapa? Loh, satu, dua, tiga. Nah, saya bisa lihat kalian semua. Tapi karena satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. 6 kali 4, 24, 25, 26. Nih, di layar saya ada 25 siswa. Ya, 25. There should be 34 of you. Uh, which, um, berarti ya masih ada yang belum datang. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, guys. Uh, can you see my the, the screen? Bisa ya? Oke, okay, let's just start. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna inform you guys the topics that will be on the uh, on this end semester test. The first one is about angle. The first one is about angles. The second one is uh, two, dimen two dimensional shapes. And then the next one is uh, the trigonometry, right? And then the last one will be uh, sets. Okay, so those are, those are the topics that will be on the end semester test. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the first uh, question from the uh, review, yeah? So for the review for this year. Okay, so uh, before we go to the, to the answer for number one, I just uh, wanna remind you guys that for the topic of angles, uh, actually there, there are, I mean like there's just a couple of theory uh, that you need to understand. Uh, uh, so whenever you found any kind of cases, just go back to the theory, okay? So the first one is this, this is a type of angle. Uh, as you have already learned that we have actually a couple of uh, types of uh, angles. Okay, can you name them for me, guys? Uh, type of angle apa aja ya? Saya, saya kasih yang pertama. Yang pertama adalah acute angle. Apalagi, guys? Saya mau ke Kenny dulu. Kenny. Acute, terus apa lagi? What else? Right angle. Okay, good. Right angle. Okay, Kiara. Apa lagi? Uh, yang C atau yang F? Yang mana aja? Acute, ada right, terus apa lagi? Uh, up to center. Up to, oke, okay, good. Uh, Brian? Straight. Right-nya udah? Yang lain? Jadi kalau mau straight angle, Pak. Oh, straight. Iya, yeah, sorry, sorry. Saya <laughs> salah dengar. <laughs> straight, ya? Yeah? Straight angle. Oke, okay, terakhir, Aruni. Uh, reflex, but... Yeah, reflex. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we have these uh, five types of angles. Uh, acute, right, obtuse, uh, straight, uh, reflex. So acute angle is between 0 and 90. Right angle is exactly 90 degree. Obtuse angle is between 90 and 180. So remember that when I say between 90 and 180, so 90 and 180, it doesn't include into that type of angle, okay? Uh, because if you have exactly 90, you have what we call a right angle. If you have a straight angle, it means that it will be exactly 180 degrees. Okay, so as for the reflex, it will be from, it's going to be between 
180 to 360 degree okay so because zero degree or 360 degree is equal to zero degree and we have no angle if, if we have zero okay yeah? okay so if we go back here guys uh from number one number one a uh, i'm gonna go to uh we know now we don't know what do you think is the type of this angle is it acute right obtuse straight or reflex Gimana we know? Hello? Gimana? Mau saya lempar? <laughs> Jawab pertanyaannya. <laughs> ya udah. Ali deh. Li, what do you think, Li? Uh, acute. Acute, yes it is. Yes, it is acute. Yeah, because it's less than 90 degree between zero and 90 degree okay good uh next kiko how about this one uh right okay very good slight angle because it's exactly 90 degree okay next uh k aziza this one hello k aziza yes Uh, mau saya lempar? <laughs> ya udah saya lempar deh. Uh, saya mau tanya ke K yang satunya lagi. K Halim. Yes, this one. Reflex. Yes, okay, very good. Yes, it is a reflex. Again, because it is more than 180 degrees. So you're not looking for this one, right? Because the sign in this question doesn't, I mean, like it's not pointing uh, to that angle, the one that's pointing uh, to the angle in, in this question is this guy over here. Yeah, So that will be reflex. Okay, very good. Uh, next question, uh, I'm going to go to uh, Lukman. Lukman, the next question is this one. Obtuse, bukan, Pak. Okay, very good. Yes, it is obtuse. And the last one, I'm going to go to Alzam. How about this one? Straight. Straight, yes, okay, right. So, Quite easy, right? It's very, very easy. You don't have to calculate anything. You only need to classify the type of angle based on the size of the angle, okay? Let's go to the next question here. Number two, uh, we have uh, two parallel lines. So remember that if we have uh, lines in which it has an arrow like this, right? That means that those two lines are parallel, yeah? Parallel. And remember that if you have a parallel lines like this, uh, pair of and then you have a transversal. This is what we call transversal, if you still remember. Uh, which is one? This guy over here, yeah, the one that the line that cuts uh, like both of these two parallel lines, we call it transversal. Yeah? Transversal. Okay. So uh, whenever you have a transfer like this, and then uh, you will have a lot of angles, right? You have over here, you have over here, over here, over here, 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 right? But uh, as you can see here, actually, you only have two values of the angles. So you don't have, I mean, like, yes, we have a lot of angles, but the size, there are, there are only two of them. Okay, just remember that if you have a vertical uh, angles, see that this angle over here is the same with this angle over here. Uh, both of them are going to be the same. So if I have 60 over here, so this is also going to be 60. Right. The same thing here. If I go across to the line or the line over here that cuts by the transversal, this is also going to be sixty. This is also going to be sixty. Okay. So yeah, we have a lot of angles, but the sides are the same for those one. Okay. Now let's go to the other side of the uh, of the angle that we have just uh, half from the question. So what do you think? If this is a straight line, how? What do you think is the size over here? Okay, I'm going to Cynthia. Seratus. Seratus. Dua puluh, Pak. Seratus dua puluh. Dapat dari mana? Karena straight line. Iya, yeah, karena straight line. Oke, okay, ya. Yeah. Just remember guys, straight lines makes 180 degree, right? So this guy, this angle over here will be 180 
20. Why? Because if I write this down in algebra, so remember you are in grade seven now, you're in junior high, so you will always use algebra whenever you want to solve any kind of this kind of this kind of problem that in which you can make an equation so if i write down over here guys i'm going to write down over here over here sorry it's over to a so if i make a uh, if i make that into an equation let's say this is x okay so let's say that's x angle the angle x x degree and i don't know what x is so since we know that it is a straight angle so if i add these two angles over here this guy and this guy if i add those two it will make a straight line so because we know that a straight line is a 180 degree so i can write this down as x degree plus 60 degree, right? So this guy plus this guy will be equal to 180 degree, right? And then again, guys, you can use the, the algebra, right? So when you want to find the value of X, so the other terms must go to the other side, the equal sign. So, or you, you cancel them, so, or you, like you add or subtract, but uh, sorry, you subtract 60 both sides to get, to get rid of the 60. So you can do whatever you want. I mean, like whatever you call it, but but uh, we do the same exact uh, process, yeah. So that will be the x degree will be equal to one hundred and eighty degree minus sixty degree, right? Because this is an addition, so the opposite of addition is subtraction, right? Remember, guys, algebra. Okay, so uh, what is one hundred and eighty minus sixty? It's going to be one hundred and twenty degrees. So this is going to be the angle over here, right? So if I have that as one hundred twenty. So I can write that as, again, the same thing like that, 120 degree. So the same thing with the 60, right? So we have 60, 60, 60, 60. The same thing with the 120. So which means that this is going to be also 120, this is 120, and this is 120. So that is the x, right? So we're done for that. Yeah, jadi gitu doang ya guys. Okay, now I would like you to uh, go to question B. Find this angle over here. Okay, that is quite easy actually. You don't have to calculate anything. Uh, yeah. off cam semua ini. Ayo, Aurel, Rafael, mana lagi nih? Miki, Jovan, Akasha, Paliha, Darren. Ambil, ambil lagi izinnya. Oh, Tristan baru datang. 15 menit lagi ya. Baiklah. Oke, saya mau ke Aira aja deh. <laughs> I don't, what do you think is the value of uh, this angle over here? That. 40 degrees, sir? Yes, it is 40 degrees. Yeah, quite easy, right? Because we know that from this concept that I just um, explained to you guys. So this is 60, this is 60, this is 60, this is 60, right? So yeah, we can just like, oh, okay. So it means that if I have 40 over here, so I also have 40 over here, and I'll have 40 over here and 40 over here, right? So the x is just 40, that's it. And the x equals to 40 degrees. Okay. okay, so the next one is the same thing over here, right? So whenever you have this kind of question, guys, uh, if you're still confused which one is which, you can just like put all of the angles like this. You just write down all of the angles. You know, oh, if this is 62, this guy over here is also 62. This guy over here is also 62. And this guy over here is also 62, okay? So when you want to find the X, you, you do the same, I mean, like you use the same concept like this one because it's, it, making, it's, it makes an 180 degree, for example, like this X and this 62 make a straight line. So for number two C, I can, oh, masih baru banyak, masih baru pada datang, ada apa ini? Okay, I'm gonna stop a little bit, guys. Okay, so for number two C, so if I fo I'm focusing on these two angles over here, that uh, two angles, if we add them together, that will be a straight line in which we know that the straight line is 180 degree. So, uh, so which means that that will be X. If I write this down in algebra, remember guys, you should, yeah, you should use algebra for this one. I would like you to really get into it because uh, later on in grade eight, grade nine, grade 10, and so on, so on, you have more complex calculation. If you cannot master algebra, then it will be more difficult. So it's gonna be a lot difficult for you guys to uh, even to solve any kind of problem in mathematics. So I suggest that if you haven't mastered it yet, 
I will be gladly to help you if you want me uh, to help you to, to at least uh, know how to solve any kind of uh, equation, okay? Okay, let's go back here again. So we have those two angles, X and 62. Again, if we add them together, equals to 180. So I can write down X, oops, sorry. I should use the, yeah, this one. So the, that'll be X up the degree plus 62 degree equals to 180 degree. The same thing, right? So X degree equals to 180 degree minus 62 degree. Because okay, so remember that if I move this here, it will become the opposite operation from a sub addition that will be a subtraction. So that will be 180 minus 62 is 180. There you go. You have the value of x. Yeah. Okay, uh, any question before I continue to number three? Okay, no? Okay, so for you, those of you who have just joined, uh, we have Eric, we have uh, Tristan and uh, Nadia. Yeah, okay, so uh, this is uh, Sharon. Okay, so this is a, a review test. So uh, actually I should give you the paper yesterday, but I forgot, but I'm gonna give you uh, tomorrow, yeah, guys. So for today, uh, uh, let's just talk about, let's say like uh, at least 10 questions. Like, yeah, hopefully we can have 10 questions. And the rest we will uh, discuss that on um, Friday, right? So please don't go anywhere on Friday. I know that Thursday will be a national holiday. But yeah, make sure that you join the class on Friday because we're going to discuss the rest of the questions, okay? Okay, so no question. Let's go to the next question. Okay, yeah, silakan nggak apa-apa, Abel. Okay, silakan yang sudah gabung, mencap ya. Kecuali yang tadi lagi izin, memang kayak Abel mungkin uh, sinyalnya lagi jelek di sana, nggak apa-apa. Ya, tapi kalau kalian yang sinyalnya bagus-bagus aja, on cam dulu ya. <laughs> okay, so let's go to number three, guys. Okay, so uh, from the image below, if AOB is a straight line, AOB means that it is this angle over here. So all of them, this is A, this is O, this is B, right? So that's form a straight line. If I say straight line, it means that it will be 180 degree, okay? So just remember, I'm going to write down over here, guys. Straight line means 180 degree. Okay, so the question is, what is the value of x? So remember, guys, the, the, the concept is just that. So you can actually have the same, I mean, like the concept is the same like we did before for number 2a and number 2c, right? So like these two, they, if, we, if we add them, if we combine them, they will form a straight line. Oh, so which means that logically, if I add the x and the 62, that will be equal to 180. So the same thing, the same concept as for number three. Okay, so long again. So if you add these two angles, because we have two angles over here that is separated by this line OC, right? But we know that AOB is a straight line, which we, in which it is 180 degrees. So if I if we add this guy and this guy, that will be equals to 180 degree. Again, guys, it will be algebra. So please write down the equation. So every time you solve any kind of mathematical problems like this you need to write the equation first and then you solve it using the method that I uh, gave you in semester one to solve any kind of algebraic equation, okay? And again, hopefully, not hopefully, I think it's 99.9% .9 of the chance that next year we'll be on the classroom. So yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a lot of drilling with the algebra because we really need to, to uh, master them, okay? So let's go back here again, guys. So in here, which means that I can have an equation, this added with this equals to 180, right? So I can write that down as x plus 27 from here, and then add them with 2x from here equals to 180 because it is a straight line, okay? So we can do the, the algebra thingy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask some question. Let's go to yang belum siapa ya? Uh, tadi kira udah Felix udah. Nah, ini yang pada off cam nih. Berarti mana? Bima dulu deh. Bima. Okay, Bima, can you help me with this uh, equation? How can we solve that? Baru datang pak. Baru datang. Ya nggak apa-apa. 
ini kan pelajaran semester satu. <laughs> ini gimana cara memecahkannya? Bagaimana cara mencari nilai X? Gimana? Ada yang mau volunteer mungkin? Kalau Bima nggak bisa. Ya, ya silakan Alza. Uh, 180 dikurang eh, X. Sebelah kirinya dulu. Uh, sebelah kirinya. Which tiga, means that you tiga. can add. Ya, yeah, betul. Yes. That will be 3X ya. Betul. 3X equals to. Betul. X equals to 180 minus 27. Oke, okay, very good. So, what is 180 minus 27? It is 100 and... 53. 53. Yes, okay. So, X equals 2. Gimana, Alsa? Tinggal 3-nya doang, kan? Kalau tadi ini minus 27. Karena Kalau 153 ini. dibagi 3, Pak. Ya, yeah, dibagi 3. Yes, thank you, Ali. So, again, guys, I need to remind you that whenever you want to move that term to the other side of the equal sign, or you want to cancel them. So you can see that, oh, this one is addition, right? So if you move that to the other side of the equal sign, it will be a subtraction. So it's just the opposite operation, right? Plus becomes minus. 3x in here means that that, that is going to be 3 multiplied by x. So when you want to move that or you want to cancel that, you, you want to remove that 3. So it means that that 153, which should be uh, Aduh, kok error sebentar, guys. Ini suka error deh. Oke. Okay. So, that 153 needs to be divided by 3. So, so, if I write down the complete process, it should be like this, right? So, remember this, right? You can cancel the 3, right? But I don't have to do this because that's just equals to 1, right? So, I don't need to. I just need to write down the x, right? So, that will be 153 divided by 3. So, that will be equals to 51. So, that is equals to 51. That's it. Okay. So, please write this down. I think this is going to be very important because the algebra, uh, I mean, like the, yeah, the algebra is going to be very important. So, I suggest that you write down these process processes. I'm going to be make this a little bit smaller guys because it's taking a lot of okay okay all right okay any question before i continue to number four no question okay let's go to number four okay here we go uh from the image below what is the value of x so um, assume right i haven't write down anything so assume that this is a o b again guys a o b So AB is a straight line. Okay, let's say this is a straight line. Ini kenapa baru pada masuk ya? Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, selamat pagi sebentar ya guys. Saya mau sapa dulu di yang baru datang. Yang baru datang silakan ada Raihan, tadi ada Rafael. Tadi juga ada beberapa yang baru datang silakan dinyalakan kameranya dulu. Ya. Ini banyak banget yang off kan. Ya. Oke, okay, ada Ki Aziza, ada Dani, sudah juga baru datang kelas ya? Oh iya, Eri lagi sarapan. <laughs> Oke, okay. Aurel kemana Aurel nih? Kok off cam sih? Ada Niki, ada Jopan, ada Akasha, ada Faliha, ada Nadia, Abila tadi sudah izin, Darren. Darren apakah masih ada kesulitan di apa namanya? di jaringannya atau tidak? Oh ya, kayak izin lagi izin dulu ya. Ada Raihan. Oh, agak lag. Oke okay, ya, kalau misalnya nggak bisa on cam, kamu memang lagi. Eh, tolong setidaknya izin dulu ya, jangan diem aja. <laughs> ya. ya, Raihan sudah izin. Oke, okay. ya, yang lain sisanya tolong uh, dinyalakan dulu kameranya ya. Oke okay, guys. Oke, okay, I'm gonna continue. Oke, ya, terima kasih yang sudah on cam ya, yang belum on cam, tolong untuk on cam dulu. Oke, okay, saya lanjut. Oke, okay. so in here, let's assume that AOB is a straight line. Oke, okay? so although I haven't write down here, so let's just assume that it is AOB. And uh, still remember this uh, sign, right, guys? That side is a right angle sign. So it, whenever you have like two lines that intersect, and then you have this symbol over here, right? That is uh, the sign of a right angle. Right, and you know that that right angle is exactly 90 degrees. So, if I have this uh, question here, 
and then I would like to find the value of uh, x. So you can actually, oh, this is like, it has this sign, so that will be 90 degrees. So I can just like write down over here, this is 90 degrees, right? That's the first step. The second step is that, okay, uh, A, B is a straight line. So which means that if we add this angle with this angle, with this angle, right? It will be equals to 180 degrees. So again, we go back to the same exact concept, right? The same exact concept. So uh, no matter how many angles do we have, as long as if we add them together, if we combine them together, it will make a straight line. So you add all of them, they will be equals to 180, okay? So if I read this as an equation, that will be 15X from here, and then plus 3x from here, and then plus 90 from here, that will be equal to 180, right? Okay. Okay, 15x plus 3x plus 90 equals to 180. Okay, so, and then we do the same thing, guys. Okay, okay, again, be careful with the algebra, okay? So 15x plus 3x, it, it has the same concept if I add, okay, the easiest concept that you can uh, think of is just like, oh, 15 apple plus three apples. How many apples there? For example, I'm gonna go to Tristan. Tristan, what is 15x plus 3x? I'm gonna put 15x plus 3x. Yes. Uh, 17x for... yes. uh, Tristan dulu. Tapi bukannya kita harus cari x dulu ya, Pak? Enggak, saya cuma mau simplify aja. Ini simplify. Oh, oke. Okay. Jadinya berapa? Ben itu, Pak. 17x. 17? Emang 15 tambah 3 17. Iya. Ah, eh, 18. Oh, sorry, sorry. 18 dong, yeah. 18, yeah, guys. So remember when you have addition and subtraction in algebra? As long as you have the same variable, right? You can just think of that like an apple or orange is actually can do anything like 15 pencil plus, plus 3 pencil equals to 18 pencil, right? So the same thing. So I can write this down as an 18. Okay, I don't need to write that equal sign, right? So that will be equals to 18x equals to, I'm going to just move this over here. This is an addition. So if we go to the other side of the equal sign, it will be a subtraction. So I can write down over there will be a 180 minus 90, right? So I move this over here, okay? Okay, the next thing is that uh, we need to subtract uh, 180 minus 90, that will be 90. And then the last step is that this is 18x, 18 multiplied by x, Remember, guys, because the remember that every time you want to solve any al algebraic equation, you make sure that the variable is alone in one side of the equal sign. Yeah, jadi intinya si x nya sendirian nih kan ini kan belum sendirian ya ada 18 nya kan. Berarti kita harus singkirkan si 18 nya, right? So because this is a multiplication, 18 x mean 18 multiplied by x. So if you want to get rid of that 18, you need to divide that by 18, right? So that will be equals to 90 divided by 18. Okay, guys. And again, guys, you can use a calculator. Yeah, nanti di end semester test boleh pakai kalkulator. Yang nggak boleh itu adalah kalian kerjasama. Percayalah bahwa saya akan tahu kalau kalian nyontek sama temennya. <laughs> Yes, yang merasa sudah pernah, ya, yeah. jangan lakukan lagi, ya, yeah. saya tahu. Oke, okay. lanjut, guys. So, this is x equals to, again, guys, 90 divided by 18 is equals to 5. There you go, you have the final answer. Gitu ya, jadi, udah, do your best aja, gitu ya, do your best. Yang penting, ya, saya nggak akan paksa kalian harus harus dapat nilai berapa. Yang penting, kalian berusaha sebaik mungkin. Oke, okay. this is for number four. Oke, okay. any question for number four? Cukup? Iya, ini setengahnya pada off cam. Sebentar ya. Saya mau stop share dulu sebentar aja. Oke, saya harus laporkan ini ya. Oke. Tuh kan, tiba-tiba ada yang keluar. Saya bingung. Gitu. 
sedih nih tiba-tiba ada yang keluar zoom gitu kan just like oh, what happened what happened what happened ayo lah <laughs> sebentar ya guys Oke, okay. oke okay guys, I'm gonna continue with my share screen. Oke, okay, here we go. Oh ya, yeah. betul Rafael. Tadi, oh ya yeah, Rafael jawab. Maaf ya, tadi saya nggak lihat the chat box ya. Yeah. Thank you Rafael. Lihat catatan nggak boleh? Iya, lihat catatannya nggak boleh. Yang boleh itu pakai kalkulator aja ya. Kalkulatornya boleh, catatannya jangan ya. Oke, okay. oke. Okay. Ya nggak apa-apa lah. Terakhir ya online ya. Tahun depan mah udah nggak online lagi. <laughs> Tadi di kelas ya. Oke. Okay. So let's go to number five guys. Uh, we only have another 25 minutes. <laughs> Cepet banget. Oke. Okay. So number five. Uh, triangles. Oke. Okay. So the concept of this topic. Pak izin di join. Ya silahkan Rafael. So the concept of this. Sebentar. From the concept of this uh, this question is that this is uh, these are these are triangles, okay? So the 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 theory that we have that the sum, okay, the sum of angles angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, okay? So that's the the sum of the angles, right? So if you add them up, you will have 180. Because we know that we have three different three three angles in a triangle. So if you add those three, they will be always be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, let's go to the first question over here, number five a. We have a triangle, right? That's the first thing that you need to you know. The second one we have this guy is 28, and this guy is 120, and this guy is we don't know yet okay so we want to find that angle we want to find the size of that angle okay that let's go oh yeah nggak apa-apa darren ya yes. yang penting kamu kasih tahu ya yeah. oke okay, darren silakan okay so which means that uh, let's name that okay so i'm gonna name that with c for example because uh, that is from the vertex of c karena itu dari vertex c ya saya kasih nama c juga di sini ya guys yeah so Uh, again, the, the, the concept here is this, right? This is the, the theory that we have. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180. So if we add this, add it with this, add it with this, that will be equals to 180 degrees. So I'm just like I'm just like doing the same concept over and over and over again, right? So let's write this down as an equation. So number 5a, I'm gonna write them over here. So that will be, I'm gonna start from C. So that will be C plus 120 plus 28 equals to 180 degrees. Again, because this is a triangle. If we're talking about quadrilateral, it's not going to be 180. It will be 360. So, so make sure that you know the shape first, okay? The, the two-dimensional figures that you have. Because again, this is a triangle, then the sum of the angle will be 180 degrees. Okay, so you can do the same thing like before. So you can let's say, okay, I'm, let's do this one first. So you're going to add that. 120 plus 28 is uh, 148. So I'm not going to use the degree because yeah, it's just C angle. Wait, no, sebentar ya, ini suka error mau deh, sebab banget ya. Okay, okay, so that will be equals to uh, 180. So next is C equals to 180 minus 148. Again, guys, we need to remove this one because we want the value. We want the value of C. We want to know the value of C. So which means that the C should be alone in one side of the equal sign. So from here, we are. <laughs> so in here, we are. Uh, what do you call it? Okay, so uh, in here we have the, the C on the left side of the equal sign, and then 148 means that we need to remove that. So if the, that is a addition, so if we move that, it will be a subtraction. So that's guys.
Oke, okay, sebentar ya guys, ada intermezzo. <laughs> okay. uh, so the next thing we do is this. Again guys, you can use a calculator. What 180 minus 148 is equals to 32, right? So that would be just C is equals, oh, sorry. So that would be C equals to 32. That's it, right? That's it. So the same concept with the <laughs> question B and concept, question C. Uh, but for question B and question C, we have only one angle right in here, but actually we have two, right? We have the 25 in here, we have the C in here, but this guy is, uh, what do you call that? That's a, uh, what do you call that? Apa namanya? Berapa derajat itu guys? 90. 90 degree, yeah, because we have this symbol here, right? So you can say, like, oh, this is 90 degree. So for this question, you use the same exact concept. Okay, now I would like you to try it by yourself. Please answer question B and then type your answer in the chat box. Okay, I'm gonna wait one minute maximum. Silakan. Question B ya, question B. Saya pengen kalian cari nilai C-nya berapa untuk question B ya, question B. Yang ini yang dicari ya, ya sorry yang dikerjain ini gitu, ya. Cari nilai C-nya berapa. Oke, silakan. Gak usah ditulis caranya gak apa-apa, langsung aja jawabannya aja. It's okay, no problem. Oke, okay, Akasha, good. Yang lain, silakan. Direct message ke saya ya, langsung ya guys. Oke, okay, baru satu nih. Kalian tuh ada di sini ada 32 siswa. Yes, oke. Okay. Bentar Pak, kepencet oh ya. Ya, yeah, oke, okay. saya ulang ya. Uh, Akasha betul, very good. Kenny good. Uh, 60, uh, sorry, Lukman, yes, very good. Uh, Kiara, oke. Okay. Alzam, oke. Okay. Rafael, oke, okay. very good. Oke, okay, yang lain mana nih? Baru ada 7 tadi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Baru 6 nih. Dari 32, baru 6. Ayo, yang lain. Yes, Kiko, very good. Aruni, very good. Nadia, yes, very good. Aura, it's Aira, kebanyakan. Aira, kebanyakan. Aira, salah hitung, coba cek lagi. Oke, okay. uh, Arkan, yes. Uh, Darren juga kebanyakan. Coba cek lagi, cek lagi, cek lagi. Oke, okay. ya, yeah, oke, okay. Darren, oke. Okay. Uh, terus, uh, Aira, benar ya, oke. Okay. El, ya, very good. Gio, betul. Gampang kan, guys? Ya, enggak? Ya, udah, ya. Yeah. Okay, so most of you answer and most of you are correct, right? So just be careful with the calculation, I guess. Again, you can use the calculator if you have big difficulties in uh, subtracting or adding like uh, big numbers. Or yeah, you could use that for now, yeah. But maybe when you are in uh, senior high later on, I don't know if the teacher will let you do that. But for me, I will let you. But I don't know if other teacher will let you do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. So, oh, yeah. We have Raihan. Very good. Yes. Bima. And then K. Aziza. Betul. Yes. Darren. Yeah. Baru benar segitu ya. Uh, Aira udah di ini belum? Oh, yeah. Betul ya. Okay. Okay. So, I don't need to ask you guys with question C because it's the same thing. Okay. Okay. Let's just go to the next question, number six. Okay. So, uh, previously, we have a triangle, right? So, Uh, when we have a triangle, so then the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Remember that it only applies in a triangle, okay? But for this one, this is a quadrilateral, okay? Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means that we have four sides, yeah? Kalau triangle, kita punya tiga sisi. Kalau quadrilateral, kita punya empat sisi, ya? Quad itu asal katanya empat, ya? Kayak kuartu, gitu ya? Nyanyi berempat, kuartet, gitu ya? Nah, berempat, ada empat, ya? So, which means that we have four sides, right? So, which means that we will have four angles, right? So, the concept or the, or the theory, the sum, right? The sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Okay, so this is the concept. Please write this down because it's going to be very important for you guys, right? Okay, so we do the same exact concept actually. The only difference is that when you add them, that will be 360. Previously, because it's a triangle, if you add them, they will be equal to 180. For this one, if you add them, they will be equal to 360. Okay, now let's go to number 6A. Okay? 
So number 6A will be uh, uh, these four angles, right? So if I add them up, that will be equals to 360. If I wrap this out as an equation for number 6A, so that will be X, okay, from here, plus 100 from here, plus 60 from here, plus 95 from here, that will be equals to 360 because it is a quadrilateral, okay? So let's do the algebra again, okay? So X, uh, 100 plus 60 plus 95 is uh, 250, wait, 255, if, not, if I'm not mistaken, right? 160, eh, yeah, 155, yeah. Uh, that will be equal to 360, and we need to remove the 255 because we want the x alone on the left side of the equal sign for this case. Sebentar, kok dia error lagi? Okay, sebentar, okay. We need to find the x. So the x needs to be alone in one side of the equal sign. So which means that the uh, 245 needs to be, we need to get rid of that by subtracting both sides by 245. Or you can say, I'm going to move that to the other side. That will be minus. So that'll be x equals to 360 minus 255. And that will be equals to 105. There we go. Right? Quite easy, right? OK, now. I'm gonna ask you the same thing like we did before. I would like you to do question B now and find this angle over here, the value of X, sorry. Yeah, silakan. And please write that down on the chat box. Silakan guys, sign in dulu ya. Okay, very good, yes. Aruni sudah. Yes, Alzam sudah. Yes. But which one are we supposed to find? Uh, the the B. Sorry, the this guy over here. Right. So question B, yeah. This question over here. Okay. Remember the, the, the concept is that if you add them up equals to three hundred sixty. So if you add this, 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 this equals to three hundred and sixty. Okay. Okay. Ini saya sudah dapat jawabannya. Ada berapa banyak? Uh, I have Aruni. I have Alzam, I have Kiara, I have Darren, Aurel, Rafael, and all of them are correct. Okay, now please, everyone, please try it by yourself. Um, you can again use the calculator, guys, to help you. Okay, Lukman, yes, very good. Correct. Akasha, yes, very good. Okay, next. Uh, Kenny, yes. Arkan, yes, very good, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait for Nadia. <laughs> Nadia wants to uh, answer the question. Yes, G.O. Very good. Okay. Masih ada waktu, guys. 12 menit lagi. <laughs> okay, Halim. Uh, kurang tepat. Sedikit lagi. Yeah. Miscalculate paling sedikit, ya. Okay. Wah, wow, Cynthia. Lengkap. Yes, mantap. <laughs> yes, Cynthia. Very good. Yes, it is. Correct. Kiko, yes, betul. Okay, Halim, dikit lagi. Salah hitung dikit doang tuh kayaknya. Ya, yeah. yeah, oke. Okay. Gimana? Uh, Nadia udah dapat belum? What do you think? Uh, iya, Pak. Ini sih tinggal uh, yeah, minus okay. yang satu. Iya, yeah, oke, okay, oke. Okay. Silakan. Saya nunggu Nadia dulu. <laughs> Ali, yes, very good. Oke, okay, Aziza, very good. Yes. Uh, Raihan itu typo ya? <laughs> Raihan typo kayaknya. Ya, <laughs> yeah, betul Raihan. Yes, Nadia. Yes, very good. Yes. Bravo, guys. All of you guys are correct. Ya, yeah, tadi kecuali mungkin Kay Halim ya. Oke, okay, itu salah itu dikit doang ya. Yeah. Itu harusnya Oke, okay, guys. The, 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 the answer should be 125 ya. Yeah. Tadi mungkin Kay salah hitung sedikit ya, yeah. tapi you know the the concept again. Okay? Oke. Okay. So, I'm going to leave the number 6. So, let's just go to the next question. Oke. Okay. Got Okay, number seven, here we go. Okay, now we're done with the angles. Now we're going to talk about uh, two dimensional shapes and then which is the perimeter and the area. Okay, later on, I'm gonna give you, again guys, I'm going to give you the formula so you don't have to memorize the formula. I'm gonna give you, but make sure that you know which one to use and how to use it, okay? So it's the same thing if you have a device. For example, you know, you have your phone, you have gadgets. Make sure that you know how to use it, okay? You know which one to use. For example, you want to open, uh, you want to go to the to school, 
and then you want to open Google Form, for example, right? So you make sure that you know what Google Form is and then know how to use it. Okay, the same thing with this one, right? I'm gonna give you the, the, the formulas for the perimeter and area, but make sure that you know which one do you should you should you use for the right uh, for the right uh, questions, and uh, you need to know how to use it. Okay, okay. For number seven, the length and width of a rectangle are ten centimeter and twelve centimeter respectively. What is the perimeter and area of the rectangle? So uh, from the paper that I uh, printed, I I think I printed the the formula booklet. Have I? Oh, I haven't. Oh yeah, apa -apa Tapi nanti guys in the UAS ya, in the UAS apa namanya, in the PAT, uh, the end semester test, I will give you a PDF of the formula booklet. Jadi kalian boleh pakai itu ya. Okay, so let's go back to number seven. We know that we have a rectangle, right? And we know that the we know that the length is ten and the uh, width is twelve. So we only need to use the formula if you if you want to use the formula or if you want to use your own concept it's actually the same thing I have uh, we have already discussed about that and just put all of the numbers right so the perimeter will be equals to uh, if you use the formula you have two in a bracket l plus w so at l is the width and w is uh, sorry l is the length and w is the width and since you know that the, this is the length and this is the width so you only need to put that into the formula so there will be two bracket 10 plus 12 that's it okay so you do the one and the bracket first so you'll get 22 instead of bracket so just remember that if you have a bracket like this and then you have something else outside that bracket it means that it is being multiplied i mean like if you don't see any other sign i mean for example like multiplication addition sign or division sign or subtraction sign if you don't see any of these means that they are being multiplied yeah Okay, so this is the same thing as it has the same exact uh, meaning as two multiplied by 22. So this will be equals to 44. And don't forget to write down the unit. Nah, ini kemarin ini masih banyak yang gak ada unit ya. So that will be in centimeter because this is in centimeter. That is for the perimeter. And then for the area, and we know that the, the what they call the form is just length times width, right? L times width. So we know the L the length and the width so just multiply those two numbers and you will get equals to 120 but remember guys you always write down the uh what they call the unit but this time because it's this area so you will have this sign over here which is a square right because you are calculating how many square in a so that is for number seven any question for number seven Gak ada ya, gampang banget ya. Ini kan pelajaran kelas 4, Pak, kelas 5. <laughs> ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Let's go to number kali W. Mana L kali W? Gak ada L kali W. Kali W mah area. <laughs> Kalau yang dua itu ditambah, bukan dikali ya. Ini ditambah. Nih, ya, bukan dikali. Itu ada di rumusnya ya, guys. Kemarin kan saya udah kasih itu rumusnya. Berarti ada si formula bukletnya. Nanti pokoknya itu ikutin aja itu ya. Jadi, ya udah pokoknya itu. Oke. Okay. Okay, we only have <laughs> seven minutes, guys. Okay, let's go to number eight, yeah? Uh, don't, apa, don't worry, guys. I have recorded this, and I will upload this to YouTube, yeah? So if you need to go back to the explanation, you can just, like, go to my YouTube channel, okay? Okay, the next one is, again, the, the question is the area and the perimeter, okay? So for a triangle, be very careful, yeah, guys. Be very careful with triangles. Sometimes you see that, the the height is not one of the side yeah for this question the height is not one of the side the sides are 9 12 and 5 but none of these has base and height right none of these are pairs of uh, uh, uh base and height because remember that when we're talking about base and height means that they need to be perpendicular if you still under uh, remember what perpendicular is it means that they need to form a 90 degree angle ya yeah? contoh gampangnya gini kalau kalian misalnya mengukur tinggi badan kalian kalian pasti ini misalnya lantai kalian pasti dulu uh, berdirinya tegak ya enggak nggak mungkin kan kalian misalnya berdirinya miring begini terus diukur ya kan nah gitu kan nah konsepnya gitu aja so if you have uh, like like this right you will form a 90 degree angle so that's the connection between base and height yeah from this 9 12 and 5 
none of these have a has a pair of uh, base and height but we have the height inside the the triangle it can be inside it can be outside as long as it makes a 90 degree angle ini ada tandanya 90 degree angle okay so i'm going to go to, uh, back to the question again so which means that if we're talking about the perimeter right it's just adding remember that perimeter is actually just the distance around the shape so what you should do is just add all of the uh, of the, all of the side right so you don't add the four because four is not one of the side of the triangle right so be careful with that okay so the perimeter is just nine plus five plus twelve hati-hati ya jadi empat ini jangan ditambah karena itu bukan salah satu dari sisinya si segitiga Yeah, okay, so 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 plus 12 equals to 26. So this will be 26. Uh, it doesn't have any units, so just write down unit. Yeah, kalau ada sentimeter, tulis sentimeter, yeah. Okay, okay so the same thing with the area. Okay, if you still remember, the area should be base times height divided by two or one over two times base times height. It's actually the same thing. I'm going to write down one over two, right, times base times height. Okay, as I have previously mentioned that the base and the height needs to be perpendicular, needs to be 90 degree. Okay, now question for you guys. So which are the pairs of the base and the height? Yang mana sama yang mana? Base sama height. Silakan, unmute aja langsung. Siapa? Ayo. <laughs> guys. Halo. Yang mana yang pasangan B sama height, guys, di sini? Misalnya, oh, 9 sama 5, Pak. Atau 4 sama 5, Pak. Nah, yang mana nih? Gimana? Hmm, Aira gimana, Aira? 4 sama 12, Pak. 4 sama 12, yes. Oke, okay. quite easy, right? Because you can just like see, oh, ini kan 90 degree nih. Oh, gitu kan. So the lines that connected there are 90 degree uh, are those two 12, the 12 and the 4. So the base will be 12 and the 4 will be the height. Actually, you can like, like swap them around. It's actually the same thing. So we can just write down, oh, this is 1 over 2 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 4. And again, guys, if you are having difficulties in calculating this, you can just like go to the calculator and then just multiply them, right? Okay, so that will be equal to 24 unit square atau square unit ya sama aja ya. Oke, okay. because this is an area. Oke. Okay. Karena di sini enggak ada unitnya. Misalnya kalau ini ada sentimeter ya pakai sentimeter, ada sentimeter square ya. Tapi kalau enggak ada ya itu sebagai unit. Oke, okay. we still have three more minutes. I hope two question will cover. Oke, okay. saya langsung jelasin aja ya, nomor 9. Oke. Okay. Number 9 from the image uh, AC and BD are the diagonals uh, of rhombus. AC is 6 and BD is 8. Uh, the area of the shape. Okay, the area is quite easy. Ini cuma ditanya area doang. Because this is a rhombus, and the rhombus has a, uh, what they call the formula of area, which is diagonal one times diagonal two over two. Okay, so the diagonals are AC and BD. Since we have them, so just put them into the formulas. So that will be equals to eight, uh, sorry, six times eight divided by two. That's it. That's it. Okay, so that will be equals to 24. And since they have a unit, so it will be millimeter squared. That's it, okay, quite easy. Okay, the last question that I'm gonna explain to you guys today is the circle, okay. So again, guys, you don't have to memorize them if you can't remember memorize, but if you can memorize them, that's, that will be very good. But if you're having difficulties in memorizing, I think it's fine because I will give you the formula step. Okay, from the image below, what is the perimeter and the area of the shape? Okay, so if this is a uh, circle, then a perimeter should be called circumference because this is a circle, yeah? So it has a different uh, name. So the concept is still the same, but we call it circumference. So I'm going to write down C. So C has actually has two uh, formulas, but I am going to write down one formula. So there will be two pi R, so in which the R is the radius, guys. Okay? So if it doesn't say anything about the value of pi, just use the pi that's on your calculator. But if it is like, oh, given, for example, given 
pi equals to 22 over 7. Then use this value to substitute the pi, okay? So if I'm given that is the pi is 22 over 7, for example, it, from this question, I wrote this as a guidance for you to substitute the pi. So that would be equals to 2 multiplied by 22 over 7. Remember that you use bracket, you guys? And then the r in here from the question, we know that the radius is 14. And again, you can just like go to the calculator and then calculate this. It's very, very easy. So, uh, or the easiest way to do this, I can just like cancel this, right? This, this is, oh, sorry, that no, should be one. So that will be divided by seven is one, divided by seven is two, and just multiply all of these two times 22 times uh, two, that will be uh, 88. And because it's in meter, so that will be 88 feet. That's it, okay? The last uh, one is the area, right? Uh, so the area of, uh, uh, what we call it a circle is the formula is pi r square. Okay, remember that the one that's being squared is only the r. Okay, so I can write this down again. If uh, it's given in the question that the pi is 22 over 7, just write down 22 over 7 over here and then multiply that with 14 squared. Remember that every time you substitute a variable with a value, that uh, you use bracket sign, right? This one, this one. Okay, so you can just like go to the calculator and then calculate this. Jadi berapa? Ya, bantu saya di kalkulator. Silakan masukin ini ke kalkulator hasilnya berapa? Silakan. Bagaimana? Silakan ditulis di chat box. Terakhir, yes, Aurel baru satu orang. Baru satu nih. Saya tunggu sampai 10 deh minimal. 10 orang jawab benar baru kita selesai. Kalau nggak ada yang jawab kita nggak selesai. <laughs> Dua orang Rafael, very good. Yes, thank you Rafael. Baru Aurel sama Rafael, silakan guys. 8 lagi, saya nunggu 8 jawaban lagi. Jawaban yang benar ya. Oke, Aruni, yes. Bertiga, good. Oke, Aziza kurang tepat. Oke, Aziza itu... Circumference ya, yang saya tanya adalah yang area. Oke, okay. uh, Kiko benar, yes, Kiara betul. Nah, Kiara lengkap nih, pakai unit ya, yang lainnya pakai unit, tapi nggak apa-apa lah. Kiko good, Bima good, uh, Lukman good. Oke, okay, udah 10 belum ya? <laughs> Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, delapan, sembilan. Baru sembilan nih, Gio betul, yes. Uh, Niki betul, yes. Satu lagi, one more answer. One more answer from you guys, and then we're done. I'm gonna uh, put the answer over there. Okay, Abel kurang tepat. Okay, Abel kurang tepat. Okay, remember guys, you can't cancel this directly. Ini nggak bisa di cancel langsung ya. Kenapa? Karena 14 itu masih di dalam kurung, terus ada square-nya. Jadi harus di square dulu, baru boleh di cancel gitu. Nggak boleh kayak gitu. Ya. Oke, okay, satu lagi ya, satu lagi yang benar nih. Soalnya ada dua jawaban yang kurang tepat. Okay, one more. One more question. Yes, Kenny. Very good. Okay, guys. So again, guys, you can just like again put that into the calculator. But if you want, if you decided to use manual calculation, you can actually write it down like this, right? Times fourteen times fourteen, right? You can do it like this, and then you can cancel it like this, right? Twenty-two times two times fourteen. That will be equal to six hundred and sixteen. Uh, since that is in meter, that will be meter square. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna stop, stop sharing. So you don't have to write down anything yet, but maybe you want to write down the, the, the answer later. But I suggest that you, uh, under, uh, understanding the concept is uh, one of the most crucial thing in mathematics, understanding the concept, yeah? Because uh, any, kind, any kind of questions uh, involving the topic that we're learning, if you understand the basic concept, then uh, I mean, like, there's not much. Uh, I mean, like, it's gonna be easy for you guys to uh, answer uh, the questions. Yeah? Okay, is there any question before I end the class? Sudah. Okay, guys, I think that's it for me. Thank you very much for your time. Remember, besok kita masih ada PTM, ya, guys. So, uh, isi formnya dulu, jangan lupa, and be on time, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. Dadah, bye bye. Terima kasih, guys. Thank you, Pak. Thank you, Pak. Thank you, Pak. Thank you. Thank you, Pak. 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 Thank you, Pak
nanti recordingnya iya biar... saya upload ya titlenya apa buat itu uh, titlenya apa ya belum saya tentuin <laughs> end semester test review biasanya saya kasih nama itulah ya oke okay. oke okay, guys see you again saya Anikas ya adik kata gue saya Mesta